everyone, it's Stella from Oh My Stella and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a massive, awesome Style Korean K-Beauty haul. Are you ready? Let's go! So today's video is actually a very special video because I've been selected as one of 150 contestants for the Style Korean K-Beauty Guru uh, YouTube competition and this is my first video for round one. So what's happening in this competition is that Style Korean have sent me a bunch of exciting products that they are featuring on their website for sale as a K-Beauty Guru box and let's just move right in. This first one is the Neogen Coconut Milk Pure Mild Cleanser. It is formulated from coconut oil and coconut extracts and is said to be able to remove tough um, waterproof makeup as well as normal impurities. Interestingly enough, when I was searching up this product, I found out that it has to be worked into dry skin and then water is added afterwards to move it from a milky texture to a foaming texture. And this product smells really nice. Like, I could honestly sit here sniffing this all day, but let's not do that. And the second product that I have to introduce today is another cleanser. This is the SRB Stabilized Rice Bran Enzyme Powder Wash, which I was really, really excited when I found out that I was going to be receiving this. So the way this one works is that it is actually a powder. You dispense a little bit of this onto your palm and then add water and rub this in and then it becomes a cleanser which you then wash with your face. If you start working this one into your skin, it also acts as a slight exfoliant as well. I think I'm going to need to test this one out a little bit because I'm still not completely sold on how well it will cleanse off all of the makeup that I wear every day. This next one comes in a pouch. This is Pyeong Kang Yo. So it is a very Korean brand, I, su I suppose. In this pack, you will get the Essence Toner in, I think this is like half size or it's like slightly smaller than the full size. And you will also get a information booklet on their products, as well as a couple of samples so that you can test all that their range has to offer. The thinking behind their products is based on um, Korean traditional medicine where your skin temperature should be optimized in order for um, your skin to retain moisture and to stop nutrients from escaping from your skin which is really great. This essence toner that they've provided here I actually tried out and it's very light. It um, works in very well to your skin and it has I think 91.3% of Welch milk root extract but it is a traditional ingredient that is meant to warm up your skin and to keep your skin from becoming too cold and therefore losing all of the moisture in your skin. So the thing with the sample pouches that I mentioned before is that you do get these three which is a lotion, another lotion, a cleanser to try which is very interesting. However, the main thing that I was very interested in about this are these two. And it looks like this white one is a skin temperature up line and this blue one is a skin temperature down line. So the idea is that everyone's skin temperature is different. Some people tend to have warmer skin, some people have colder skin, you're cold hearted. But the thing is that this can then be customized to what suits your skin and I'm definitely going to be testing out both of these before I go in and possibly buy the entire line if it is as good as it seems. So next product is a serum and unfortunately when I was looking into this serum I found out that the description on Style Korean is wrong. This is the True Water Deep Serum, not the True Water Deep Toner. This is a lightweight citrusy serum that moves right into your skin. This is from Thank You Pharma and it is hydrating and it claims to have wrinkle improvement benefits. It is paraben sulfate and toxin free and it claims to be suitable for all skins. I also love the packaging. It's got like a semi-opaque matte packaging and it's like this beautiful blue 
liquid inside. If you have sensitive skin or if you have oily skin and you want something that will be hydrating for you without being too greasy, definitely have a look into this one. I think that it will be very good for your skin type. The next one I have for you is a eye essence. This is called the Organic Flowers Eye Essence and it has brightening and ankle, uh, ankle wrinkle, anti-wrinkle properties and it comes in a tube like this. It is from a brand called Wamisa. Very interestingly, I noticed that they actually have braille on the cover as well and I think that is just great design. Thank you for making this inclusive. I hope that more brands will decide to do this in the future. It also uses natural ingredients and is 95% organic. This essence smells amazing. It's very floral. It smells like lavender almost, I think. But that being said, it's also very strong. If you love this scent, if you love floral scents, you will love this essence. If you hate floral scents, this will make you sick. However, upon first application, I noticed that it didn't give me any stinging sensation around the eyes, which I often get from a lot of um, eye serum and essences because of my sensitive eyes. So if you have sensitive eyes and you like floral scents, this one's for you. So this one is from Benton and it is a moisturizer. It is said to be suitable for dry skin, sensitive skin, and skin that needs oil rebalancing. It contains cacao extracts, and there is there's not much of a noticeable scent. It's very, very light, and the formula looks like a white cream. However, I was very surprised that when I worked it in, it actually became extremely light. Also, if you're a little bit sensitive with your skincare, you'll be happy to know that this cream is very lightly acidic so it is have at a pH of 6 so this one will be great for rebalancing your skin and for soothing if you have any breakouts or redness that you want to deal with so definitely check this one out I think that this one could very easily become a staple for me and we're at the last skincare product but also the one that I'm most excited about this is the Huxley mask it is a little bit expensive. I think it's currently on sale for around uh, 20, 21 USD. There's three sheets in a box. It's not even a little. It's, it's a bit more than I would usually spend on a sheet mask. This product was so good that as soon as I used it, I was sold. And I'm so keen to try more of Huxley because of this. So this is their Secret of Sahara mask. And it contains cactus extract and prickly pear oil. It is an antioxidant and it is hydrating, like it is extremely hydrating. The way it works is that you have the extract on top which the sheet is drenched in and you have the oil on the bottom. To dispense this oil down to the bottom, you will fold this four times and it will then pop the oil to go down to here and the two will then mix together to create a very unique and interesting formula. When I used this, there was also a lot of leftover essence and I actually put that over like my neck and my hands and my legs. And when I woke up that morning, because... Not that I wear masks overnight, but I wear it before I sleep and take it off. So when I woke up that morning, even my legs were like baby soft. In addition to all of that, I saved my used sheet mask because I wanted to show you guys about the fabric that this sheet mask is actually made in. I know this looks really creepy and probably a little bit gross, but whatever. This sheet mask fabric is trademarked to Huxley. It is called Micro Away, and it is actually a microfiber mask, and it is a little bit thicker than the thin mask that you will be used to. However, it is so soft, and I actually think that it helps the essence sit on the skin for longer, because I found that this mask stayed wet on my face for longer than the usual sheet mask. I really, I'm really excited about this one. And with that, we're done with the skincare, so let's move on to the makeup. The first one that I have to talk to you about is the Hamish Artless Glow Base. So this one is a makeup primer and it has a light pink pearlescent base. The scent of this one is very, very light and unless you're doing this, like, 
actually sniffing someone's face you can't really notice it the main issue that I do have with this one unfortunately is because it is quite luminous I find that it tends to exaggerate pores and texture on skin it can make you look like a disco ball but not a very beautiful disco ball you kind of look like a very porous disco ball so this one is good use this sparingly don't do it all over your face and this will be great the next one I'm going to be talking about is a concealer. This is from a brand called Chico Y Chico. I don't know how to pronounce it properly because I don't speak Spanish, but please correct me if I'm wrong and I think I'm very wrong about it. Anyway, so this one is a matte tip concealer. This has a creamy consistency and it blends out matte. It contains argan oil to help with moisture and it also has a... Um, powder in it which is similar to the Medicube products. They have a powder in it that helps to selectively absorb sebum. It is so great for blemishes because it just covers up perfectly and it did last all night for me. My main issue with it though is that under the eyes, especially because my eyes water a lot, it starts to look very cakey. I would suggest using this to cover up blemishes but unfortunately I don't think that this one is suitable for under the eyes unfortunately but for blemishes it is tops it is so great and then now i'm going to be talking about the touch in soul metalist liquid foil and glitter shadow duo this is a cream eyeshadow duo so this side is cream and this side is glitter personally i really love this eyeshadow and i use it quite often because i like the lasting power of it you can see this is how it looks with just the cream on it. It's very light, but it is very pretty. And then you have the second side, which is glitter. And it opens to a sort of like a soft plastic um, applicator. And you can, you can pat this on by itself, like so. But usually you would pat this on top of the cream, con um, sorry, not concealer. The cream eyeshadow to build up the color even more and you can get a almost foiled effect with this it is absolutely beautiful and I love it so the price of this product is of course it is beautiful it lasts well through a day and for me it doesn't crease which is very very difficult to find the con of course is that it can be messy you're going to get glitter everywhere over your vanity when you're using it so just keep that in mind definitely check this out whether this color is for you or if you want to try the other ones as well this one is one of my favorites and it's highly recommended by me and we're at the last product so this is the 16 TNG in the shade blue 8 now you're looking at this thinking blue what's blue I'll show you what's blue this is blue like I don't even know if the camera's doing it justice right now but it is like a glittering heaven on this side you have your liquid gel tint which is super vibrant color and it smells great like it smells like candy I love this as well the top side here is a balm it looks blue but actually upon application I found that it was very transparent and it's very hydrating but it doesn't do anything with the color this color is super vibrant and it's just so pretty there's four colors to choose from this one is the blue egg color and you can definitely go online to check out the others. I love this one on my lips. And I love that there is a hydrating balm on the other end which I'll often layer on top of it to keep my lips hydrated. If you like bright lips like me, this one is definitely going to be your thing. I've reviewed a lot of things from them before and I actually really love their products. I love the concept behind it. And rather than this product being highly recommended by me, I actually highly recommend you guys check out this brand in general. So definitely check that out. So that was everything guys. Thank you for being with me here today. Did you like it? Did you love it? Were there products that you want to know more about? Let me hear about that in the comment box below. Please support me in this Style Cream Beauty Guru competition by one, watching this video. And if you've gotten to this part of the video, you've already done that. And two, by voting for me on the Style Korean website, you can vote five times a day. You can vote for like me five times, or you can vote for five different contestants. 
So the information on how to vote is down below and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I love you and bye.